In this video I'm going to talk about building the effector hot end and the auto level probe for the uh, Kussel Mini. Double check your rods, they need to be exactly the same length. So these are the rods and the Traxxas ends. Uh, neither are threaded, so the M4 nut doesn't just slide in. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, tap it. These little guys have a tendency to split if you don't, uh, if you try to force a, a bolt that's in, it's a little too big in there. So. I would also wait to put the little balls in till, till you're done and getting everything screwed in. They're kind of getting in the way. This is the effector and this is a tubing connector. Um, what I did is I used a heater and I heated up the hole and then screwed it in. So I'm going to put the rods on the effector. M3, 25 millimeters long. These nuts are pretty tight, so I'm gonna, once again, I'm going to warm it up a little bit. Try to get these things in here. I'm doing much easier when it's a little bit warm. So alternately, you could end up with a J-head hot end that looks like this. Tubing fitting is actually integral, integral to the machine here. And it wants you to push the... It wants you to push the tubing in about that far. So, um, instead of screwing it in the top, I drilled it out. <coughs> um, this doesn't work, I will print another one out with the proper hole. The bottom hole was actually not the right size either, so it's a little ugly right now. But you see how that kind of fits in there. And then a little, you're gonna put another plate and bolt it around this lip to hold it in. So to mount the hot end into the effector, we have a little Bra bracket here and it's gonna go like this it snaps into this slot and then it's gonna s squish the hot end in there and we'll put some screws in here to keep this thing really tight so the auto level 
bed probe works like this. You can have this, uh, it's a long 1.5 millimeter allen wrench and it, it probes the, the bed like that. So we need a spring. He said to use a uh, safety pin, but I have some extra springs, so. I'm using a 2.5 bolt with a locking nut. The Allen wrench will lock and then it will reach over and it'll grab the it'll use the belt to knock it off and it'll go down probe and then it will reset. So the micro switch goes here. My only key doesn't go quite down quite far enough, so I'm gonna have to cut this out a little bit. Ballpoint pin springs have a about the right amount of travel and springiness, so I ended up rating a couple pins and getting two of them because you need quite a bit of travel but you also need quite a bit of tension to make sure it really engages that uh, switch so and then these are some junky terminal blocks but they have some cool uh, metal pieces in here when you yank one out it looks like this So it took quite a bit of fiddling. I had to uh, smooth out the inside quite a bit and I had to dig down a little bit. I ended up digging a little bit of this plastic out right here so that it uh, rests properly when it's uh, latched up. I'm not quite sure <clears throat> where the probe needs to be. So I'm just picking one side and I'm putting most of the stuff that hangs off the extruder away from it. So I'm actually going to put it in right here. 